Hi, I'm Cole Quinnell with the Ford Story. I'm here with Brian McClary. He's a specialist for uh, Ford in the fields of social and emerging media. And uh, he's here to tell us about a uh, new application. It's going to be pretty exciting. Yeah, Cole, we're really excited. We're actually bringing one of our most storied vehicles uh, into applications on your mobile device. So we're happy to announce that the Mustang Customizer is coming to mobile. The Mustang Customizer, now that's something that just launched a couple of weeks ago, right? Yep. For uh, desktops and uh, laptops. Yep. So it launched two weeks ago where we give the users to the tagline that we're using is Do Mess With Perfection. So they can go in and take Mustangs across all of our different trim levels and customize them to their own heart's content. So we're bringing that experience to your mobile device on iOS, so on iPod Touch and iPhone, but then also on iPad, and then we're also bringing it to Android phones. So we're really excited about it. And what sort of things can you do on the iPod app that you can't do on the desktop? One piece of functionality that we added to it is we allow users to shake the device and it will randomize. So you look kind of silly when you pick up your phone and you shake it and you're going to get some funny looks, but you actually get some pretty cool results out of it. So you can get crazy paint colors, different body kits, different wheels, and sometimes it's inspiring because it's something you probably would have never done yourself, but you can actually do it on your mobile device now. And you can still use all of the features that are available on the desktop, right? The battle mode, all the different uh, parts and accessories and color schemes and wheels. Yeah, it's cool. So you can take, you know, the time waster that we've created and actually take it while you're on the subway or while you're waiting for a meeting to start. And you can participate in battle mode, you can edit your vehicles, and you can do everything that you can do online, but now on your mobile device. All right, why don't you walk us through it? Yeah, for sure. One cool thing that I'm going to show you is, look at the background here. You can actually take your customized Mustang and make it the background for your image. So you can actually add it as a wallpaper. So I'm going to unlock it here. And of course we have it on our home screen because we're pumped about it. So we're going to launch the Mustang Customizer and here it is, right? So you launch the Customizer and you can do a couple of different things. Uh, one thing that you'll see when you launch the application is that various different Mustangs that have been customized by other users will be rotating in. But one cool thing that you can do is you can log in with Facebook. It will save all of your different vehicles, but we'll, sh we'll talk about that later on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start customizing. So you can go anywhere from our V6 model to the, G uh, to the GT, to the Boss, and then all the way up to the Shelby GT500. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take you through a GT. So I tap GT here. And you'll see some of the product features, you know, 412 horsepower with you know, 26 um, uh, miles per gallon on the highway. So we're going to start customizing. So the really cool thing about this application is it takes the web experience that we did online and imports it over to an app. So what you can do here is you can start with parts, angles, you can share it and then look at some other options. So I'm just going to start and I'll show you a couple of things. I'm mess around with the color. And the really cool thing here is we have all of the different spectrums of the rainbow that you can actually go through and create your color. So I'm going to make a gold Mustang, similar to one I made online. So make it a little bit darker and change a little bit here. And then, so that's just what I'm starting with on the color side. We'll change a few more things. Let's do the roof. And something really cool too is you can change your angles. So here's one angle we can look at. You can look at it from behind. You can look at it from the back end. But for the roof, I actually want to look at one where I can see it really well. So I'm going to change it to this one right here. And we're just going to cycle through all the different roofs that are available. So you can look here, it will show all the different options. I'm going to make a glass top roof, which is the one I'm really geeked about. And then I'm actually going to go through and start, I'll just do one more thing here, and change your wheels. And let's just change, let's just see some of the wheel options on here. So, you know, really cool functionality that you can do inside of this. Here's the different wheels I put on here. You can then save it. We're going to name it a title here. We'll call it Gold Dust. Gold Dust 2, because I already made one. Let's make another one. Then we're going to hit Submit. And what's going to happen is, is this Mustang will actually go in and since I'm connected to Facebook, we'll go through and look at all the different Mustangs I've made and it will notice that, hey, here's Gold Dust 2. Here's another one that I made called the Bullet. And here's another one that I made called Voltage. So pretty cool things that you can do here. You can actually bring it into battle mode, which is a feature that I think a lot of our users have really liked and uh, mess around with it here. So that's pretty much what we've done with the customizer. I'll show you the battle mode real quick. And here you can actually just go through and vote for different vehicles that are inside of there. So I'm just going to start voting a little bit. 
so it'll show you know who, who who's going against who. You can vote against your various different your, your friends. You can take a look at what vehicles are really winning well right now, and just you know go for bragging rights against all your friends. So that's the customizer on the iPad. Um, you know, go to the iTunes Store today and download it.